Stanley J. Brown. As a boy, I shared a game with my father. Played it every morning till I was three. He would knock, knock on my door and I'd pretend to be asleep until he got right next to the bed. Then I'd get up and jump into his arms. Good morning, Dada. Then my daddy, he would tell me that he loved me. See, we shared a game, knock, knock. Until that day, the knock never came and my mummy takes me for a drive past farms and fields on this never-ending motorway until we arrive at this place surrounded by high, rusty fences. A confused little boy, I enter this building carried in my mummy's arms. Knock, knock. We reach a room full of windows and brown faces, and behind one of these windows sits my father. I jumped out of my mummy's arms and ran joyously towards my daddy's, only to be confronted by this window. I knock, knock, trying to break through the glass, trying to get to my daddy. I knock, knock, as my mummy pulls me away before my daddy has a chance to say a word. And for years, he never says a word. So 20 years later, I write these words for the little boy in me who still awaits his daddy's knock. Daddy, come home because I miss you. Miss you waking me up in the mornings telling me that you love me. Daddy, come home because there's things I don't know that I thought that maybe you can teach me. Like how to shave, how to dribble a ball, how to talk to a lady, how to walk like a man. Daddy, come home because I decided a long time ago I wanted to be just like you. But now I'm forgetting who you are. Thirty years later, the little boy still cries. So I write these words. And I try to heal the wounds inside. And I try to father myself. And dream of a father that can say these words my father did not. Dear son, I'm sorry I never came home. For every lesson I failed to teach, hear these words. Shave in one direction with strong deliberate strokes to avoid irritation. Dribble onto the piece of paper with the brilliance of your ballpoint pen. Walk like a god and your goddess will walk to you. No longer will I be there to knock on your door. So you must learn to knock for yourself. Knock, knock down the doors of racism and poverty that I could not. Knock, knock on the doors of opportunity for the lost brilliant souls of the men gathered in these cells. Knock, knock with diligence for the sake of your children and your children's children. Knock, knock. For me, for as long as you are free, these prison walls cannot detain my spirit. The best of me still lives on inside of you. Knock, knock with the knowledge that you are my son, but you are not my choices. Yes, we are our father's sons and daughters, but we are not their choices. And despite their absences, we are still here, still alive, still breathing, with the power to change this world and to break this chains, one little boy and one little girl at a time. Knock, knock, who's there? We are. <laughs>